Howdy folks and welcome to the Hillbilly Kitchen. Today we're making buttercream frosting. Buttercream frosting is a really old recipe and it's good on just about anything, but today I'm making it for my Christmas cookies. And you need four cups of confectioner sugar. And just dump that in your bowl. You need a quarter cup of cream, it is buttercream frosting. And a half a cup of butter. And you can mix this by hand. Um, I did for years, just used a whisk and mixed it. But I'm gonna mix it in my stand mixer today because it's easier. And I say if it's easier, do it. You need a half teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of vanilla, and I'm making a double batch. Um, if you're doing this for a cake, you can cut this in half. but I won't have enough to do my Christmas cookies all the way through New Year's. And you need two tablespoons of corn syrup. And you do want to use the light corn syrup for this, especially if you're going to be using this to decorate with, um, because if you use the dark corn syrup, of course, it'll turn it colors, and you won't be able to get um, good color in what you're decorating. And that's all you need to make it. And we're going to take this over to the stand mixer and mix it up. If you're using a power mixer to mix this with, a hand mixer or a stand mixer, you do want to start it out on low. You don't want that confectioner sugar to slop all over your kitchen. Okay, scrape the sides of my bowl here. I like buttercream frosting for um, decorating cookies with because it stays soft but it does dry on top. So if you're decorating a whole bunch of cookies, they can touch once you get them decorated and let them dry for just a few minutes. You don't have to keep them all spread out in a single layer. creamed pretty good there and I only mixed it for a few minutes it, just, it doesn't take long at all and like I said you can do it by hand I did it with just a whisk for years but the stand mixer is easier for sure Now, you can store this in your refrigerator um, if you're using it like I am to decorate cookies for two or three weeks. Um, and just as you bake the cookies, you can take it out and decorate the cookies with it. And I do keep it for at least three weeks through Christmas time um, and frost my cookies as I bake them. That way my cookies are fresh. You just want to put it in an airtight bowl and put it in the fridge. And it's really easy to color, um, just a few drops of food coloring and you can color it. And this is one of the very few things that I make that I don't add extra vanilla to and I don't because the vanilla is brown and I don't want my um, buttercream frosting to be brown, I want it to be white. And that's also a good reason to use real butter in it other than the fact that real butter is better for you than margarine, but real butter doesn't have that yellow color 
if you use margarine it's going to make your buttercream fro frosting come out yellow now you can see here that this would spread on a cake really nice um, you can pipe it on cupcakes or use it for all your Christmas cookies we did discover um, last summer if you're going to do a piped frosting on cupcakes you don't want to use buttercream in the summertime if they're going to be out in the heat because what happens is the butter melts and then your frosting runs but this time of year it would be just fine you're not going to it's not going to melt at room temperature Okay, you can see here that this makes probably three cups of frosting, which is way more than enough for a cake, and it do a batch of cupcakes real nice. And it'll also do a double batch of Christmas cookies, which is what we're using it for. So don't forget to check out our Christmas cookie video, and we appreciate you joining us in the Hillbilly Kitchen. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.